Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Um, today's tutorial is going to be about using brushes, but more in part more specifically, rocks. Um, so let's get started. Basically, I'm just going to show. I'm just going to go through the ways you can use rocks, how to use them, and what rocks are suitable for certain parts of the map basically so let's just what you want to do first is go to brush and if yours is closed just go to open objects go to natural and your there's a there's a list of folders all with different rocks i would suggest that you use if you're gonna use rocks in a folder stick with that folder and only use rocks from that folder so it's consistent and your map look yeah so basically your map looks consistent it doesn't look it doesn't look fake or unrealistic so just I used for my map I used um I think it was forest rocks yeah it was forest rocks um yeah it was forest rock not forest rocks forest rock um and there's various rocks that you can use but this this was the first map i've ever designed on cry engine and as you and this was the first bit i've done as you can see the rocking the quality of the rocking is actually quite poor but um it's, it's covered with vegetation and that and so it, you won't really notice it but over here on the other hand this was like after I got like much more better at it and you can see that the quality of the rocking like the way I put used the rocks is much more better and like over here in, com into, in comparison to where I first started off and a part of the reason is because I didn't know what rocks to use what rocks to use in specific places like now I've been meaning to change these rocks but I just haven't had the time so there's various rocks and I'm gonna sh tell you that which rocks to use so that for example if you was going to let's just let's just make some more make some terrain right so let me get the radius down a bit. Create some terrain. Okay. So we've got our terrain. And let me just quickly texture it. This is quick. Okay. Now we're gonna wanna want to add rocks to make it look more interesting, right? So let's just go back to the the rock folders. Once you've got your rock folder, you could drag a rock onto the screen. Like there for example. And um, you can go through the list. You can just like view the, each rock, and some of them are really, really big, and some of them are quite, quite small as well. So look, look at the rocks, and wow, yeah, like now look how big that is. That's one I, I really like. That is a good rock. Uh, I recommend this rock here, Deco Rock Forest, this B. Um, so there's loads of rocks and quite a lot of them are, are quite bad to be honest but for this, for this, for, for like cliffs I would recommend using Deco Rock Forest B1413 you don't really need that much rocks either because the idea is to get it looking random but 
to make it look random doesn't necessarily mean that you need all the rocks to look different you could use up to like like three rocks and there's just you, you only need about three rocks to look deco rock forest b170 this is a good rock as well i recommend this rock too um and also yeah, this one wait how do i pick this one i'm not sure Right there. So 171, 170. Okay, so basically, it's the way you utilize these tools up here select, rotate, scale. And like the moving tool is what determines how well like you can make your rocks look. So what you want to do is put most of the rock inside and then just maneuver it, adjust it, rotate, it. and then you might yeah, you might just want to rotate it a bit like that, and then move it back in perhaps move it down and then really you wouldn't even have to you don't really have to use an upright you could just i just use control copy control shift click move it back use the rotate tool make it look random that's the key making it look random if it looks if it looks the same it looks uniform don't look realistic so I'll make it look random and then perhaps you could copy you know, copy it again and this time you might want to scale it down a little turn it on a side and probably just like no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, just move it in. So it takes time. It does take time. And then it's not complete. It's not complete without using vegetation as well. So like. Like, as I said before, all these ro all these rocks here was when I was pretty new to Cryengine and I still need to change them. They don't look great, but because I've covered it with vegetation, you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even notice how bad the rocks are. So, vegetation is quite important as well. Because if you do a bad if you do a bad rock job. Basically, you can just cover it with vegetation. Like over here, you can see how bad it is. Just cover it with vegetation. Um, and yeah, that's gonna probably be my next tutorial: how to use um vegetation effectively as well. So, where was that? Okay, let's use this rock. Rotate it. It's too big. Perhaps put it on the side, perhaps make it a bit smaller. And by the way, these are the main three tools you're going to be using to like change how the rock looks. And the shortcuts for those are one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And um, when you're using this, it's easier to move it like that because don't keep using x y s long you could use you could wait what's the shortcut for that um I'm trying to remember now Hold on. it just does it it just does it i think it's control and two 
Yeah, control two. So if you press control two, it does X Y. That's a shortcut for that. It just makes it quicker. It's long going to Y and then X and so control two to move it in the X Y axis. So this is rocking and it does take time. I haven't smoothed the edges either of the like the initial terrain, so I might just want to do that. So yeah, this is what and um, yeah. So for like cliffs and that, the rocks I just named that would be the best rocks. Don't use like what I've done over here. It's so I got away with it because I covered it with vegetation. But you don't want to use deco rock wall or anything like that. Deco rock wall. Deco rock wall is a terrible rock for using cliffs for for cliffs. And um, you don't really want to use like river rocks. They're like more rounded, more flat as well. Don't use river ro use river rocks strictly for the river, and use like like cliff rocks strictly, strictly because don't try and turn a river rock on its side and put it on a cliff because it won't look right. And don't try and put like one of these rocks in the river. So like here. It doesn't, the rocks I've used here, it looks, it doesn't look like realistic, but because I knew I was going to cover it with um, the wood, I got away with it here. So you don't like, you don't always have, to, if you're going to cover it, it doesn't always have to look the best if you know you're going to cover it. So for the, for the river rocks, these, these literally these are just two rocks every single rock you see here is just two rocks rotated um resized and like maneuvered in all different ways this is i think it's most most of it is even actually one rock and i occasionally use two to do this to do this little bit and the rock i use is the river rock river b20 yeah. So, and that's basically how to like effectively use rocks. Basically, you would do this if you wanted to. Yeah, you'd do it like the whole way around, the whole way around. But can you see here? The um, the brush actually ends. So, what you would want to do is probably drag it. Do maneuver it so you drag it in a bit more. Or perhaps you could cover it with vegetation. And um, that's how you use, yeah, as I said, everything, every single work I've used is in the same, like, category. Like, don't use, it wouldn't be, like, the best idea to use forest rocks and um, then use probably, like, cliff rocks or something. Because they're all different colours and stuff like that. But you can, you can also change the rock parameters, tap M. And um, if you find it, basically find your rock, find it, you can change the parameters in here. I don't want to change them, it's going to mess up, but if you wanted to, you could change it and it would, uh, will change the rock. So, yeah, that's it. That's it, and the next tutorial is going to be about um, vegetation, yeah, using vegetation and rocks. So thanks, thank you for watching, and stay tuned.